Hello, ladies. Once again, it's time to share a little tea with Goldie, a program designed to keep you above what's happening. Join us as we share a little tea with Goldie. Hi, ladies. Hi. Once again, it's time to get above what's happening. As you remember the last time we got together, I told you we'd be talking about how to get rid of those unsightly, unwanted roaches in your home. But you ladies were really on top of it, and you figured it out for yourselves. <laughs> and I want to thank all of you for sending me all your old roaches. <laughs> I certainly enjoyed them. They're really cute little fellas. <laughs> oh, here's a letter from one of our listeners out there. This comes from Mrs. Armando Smith of Newton, Iowa. And Mrs. Smith writes, Dear Goldie, with elections coming up next week, I'm confused as to the candidate to vote for. They all seem the same. Can you help? Well, Mrs. Smith, I can't make up your mind for you, but there's something you can do to help get your head straight. <laughs> you just go into a dark room by yourself, take off all of your clothes, and shout your favorite candidate's name real loud three times. <laughs> now, if you don't feel stupid after that, he's your man. <laughs> most of you ladies are just too busy during the day to keep up with the news since it usually comes at meal times. So we found a way to put the news in your head and the food in your face at the same time. <laughs> Today, we'll be baking whole wheat raisin bread. And we'll be needing for that some whole wheat stone ground flour, some eggs, water, honey, yeast, a little oil, raisins, a loaf pan, some stove, and a heat. <laughs> now, to start with, let's just add some active yeast, like that, and a little passive warm water. And we'll put in a little honey in there to just get the action going. You know, that sweetener really helps it. <laughs> oh, ladies. I can hear those little yeasties in there just bubbling away. <laughs> oh, ladies, you know, you're going to love baking whole wheat bread. At this point, we can just add a couple of eggs to the mixture. Oh, the news department's really on the ball. Look at that. <laughs> Dateline, Hollywood. Movie producer Milton Katz, maker of the famous Beach Party movies, has announced that his latest film will deal with contemporary religious and social values. Details inside. <laughs> ah, the name of the film, Renegade Nuns on Wheels. Well, that figures. <laughs> Now, ladies, at this point, we can just add enough whole wheat flour to this mixture to make the dough very soft and pliable. You know, ladies, this is so much fun. Don't just think of this as plain old dough. Think of it as adult Play-Doh. Get into it, ladies. Feel it. Mush around in it. Oh, these little yeasts are alive, and your bread loves you. Oh, love your bread, ladies. <laughs> Let your bread love you. Oh, you know, when your bread gets to the right stage, just put it into a warm place and let it rise to this stage right here. God. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's beautiful. Now at this point we can add a few more a few raisins to our mixture. Oh. Look at this. Aren't they sharp in the news department? <laughs> From California, the labor news. I almost missed this one. In the San Joaquin Valley today, striking grape pickers urged the public to continue their boycott of grapes and grape products. Hmm. Well, let's just make this a plain whole wheat loaf. <laughs> you know, ladies, do you ever find yourself in a nervous state, yelling at the kids? Well, don't take out your aggressions and hostilities on your husband and family. Take it out on your bread. Knead your bread. Your bread needs to be kneaded. Your knees need to be kneaded. You need to be kneaded. You ever feel like punching someone out? Punch your bread. Your bread loves to be punched. The more you punch your bread, 
red, ladies, the higher it's going to rise. The higher it rises and the lighter you feel. Oh, I feel good already. Oh, ladies, 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 get it on this way. <laughs> My bread's getting high and I'm beginning to rise. <laughs> <laughs> After you get your bread kneaded down real good, just form it into some loaves and then put it into a grease pan. You know, I use flower pots myself. <laughs> I love pots. It, it, gives it, <laughs> it gives the bread a real earthy flavor. After you put it in, let it rise again, then put it into a 375 degree oven. Here's one I put in before the show to show you. And, I guess I let it get a little too high. <laughs> but that never hurts, does it? <laughs> well, that's it for today's le today, ladies. And remember, the way to a man's heart is not through his stomach, but through open heart surgery. <laughs> this is Holy O'Keefe saying victory through vegetables. <laughs>